Recognize God's faithfulness to keep his covenant. Recognize God's faithfulness to keep his covenant. Recognizing that is a cause, is a reason to thank God in this season. We need to recognize that God is a covenant keeping God. There is no one like him. There is no one that keeps covenant to a thousand generations. Isaiah 54 verse 10, Psalm 89 verse 34. Isaiah 54 verse 10, Psalm 89 verse 34. Let's recognize God's faithfulness to keep covenant. When we do that, it will help us to give thanks. It will help us to know that no matter where we are, no matter what we are looking up to him for, he will not break his covenant. For the mountains shall depart and the hills be removed. But my kindness shall not depart from thee. That's Isaiah 54, 10. Neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed, says the Lord that has mercy on you. He says, my covenant, the covenant of my peace shall never be removed. That covenant will never be removed over your lives. Which means that no matter what is going on, the peace of God will surround you. The peace of God is what you will enjoy. The peace of God is what you will wake up to on a daily basis, no matter what the enemy throws at you. Because God keeps covenants. God keeps covenants. How do I know he keeps covenant? When he told Abraham that he was going to allow his people go to a strange land and be kept there as slaves, he told Abraham that 400 years later, he will bring them out of it. Abraham was not alive 400 years later. Nobody was going to hold God ransom to say, God, you said something and you, you have not yet done it. Because none of the people that were there when he made that covenant were still alive. None of them were still alive. But God, there are two things. God cannot say something and he will not do it. He cannot. That's why 430 years later, God reminded himself and said, yes, it is time for these people to come out of slavery. It's time for these people to come out of the bondage they have been kept in. And he brought his word to pass. That is the God we serve. And because he's the God we serve, that covenant promise he has made over your life, that promise to keep his word, to provide for you, to give all your needs met, he will make sure those covenants are kept and every promise comes to pass in your life in the name of Jesus. You will not go without seeing those things come to pass. You will not. I don't care what the enemy throws at you. He will throw things. The Bible says you will walk through the rivers. You will walk through the waters. You will even go through the fires. But out of it all, God will bring you out. That is a covenant keeping God. That is a covenant keeping God. As we go through different things in life, God does not leave his people alone. And that is why we have cause to thank him this morning. 